We were on a single flight mission along the South China Sea coast, flying low level and fast looking for signs of sampans coming in at night and unloading VC or their supplies into the jungle areas off the coast. It was daylight but by trails in the sand we could figure out what might have come in last night. There was an uptick in enemy activity in the area and that was the reason for our reconnaissance mission. We saw sand disturbances leading into the jungle areas and I would throw a red smoke grenade in the jungle area. On other days that would cause whoever was near the smoke grenade to start shooting at us. Red smoke grenades really upset the enemy as they figured next there would be artillery strikes or air strikes in their area and that we would be directing them. Which was not the case with us. It was solely a recon mission. We would fly away fast to keep from getting shot down and mark it on the map as a probable enemy trail. Some gunners, so I heard, would shoot into these areas instead of dropping a smoke grenade in order to get a reaction or not. I did not do that as I was afraid of hurting an innocent person or people. Besides, a red smoke grenade seemed to work well. We were not on a shooting mission unless shot at. As we flew along the beaches, we came upon a growth of trees and vegetation that was surrounded by sand and had trails going in and out of it in the sand. I quickly pulled the pin on a red smoke grenade and tossed it into the green area. Instantly, a deer and a dog ran out of the island of green. And just as instantly, Peter Pilot shouted over the earphones, get them, and I immediately shot dead the deer and was working my machine gun bullets hitting the sand to the dog when I stopped firing. What the heck am I doing, I thought. I just killed an innocent deer who was no threat to me. I never did this before except shooting a sparrow dead with a BB gun when I was a kid and I still feel bad about that 60-something years later. I just killed an innocent being that had just as much right to live as I did. The Peter Pilot said, good shooting, you hit that deer with your first rounds. I felt that I had just murdered an innocent life just as I felt about killing the sparrow with the BB gun. I still feel guilty about killing that deer as I write this biography 54 years later I did a terrible thing. And I regret that fast reaction to this day if it was a human running out of the green area I would not have shot unless he or she was shooting at me. But what made me think I could just kill that deer just because I could. I was proud of myself for my quick assessing of differing situations and my quick and accurate shooting. But what is this? It wasn't the pilot telling me I should do it. I never listened to anyone else when it came to combat or shooting. I alone made my decisions and that was a bad decision. I felt so guilty about killing that deer. It was like I killed something very holy, very spiritual. I certainly killed an innocent. The deer and the sparrow in my mind are the true innocent gods. So many innocents being killed. My guilt about the war is based upon we should never kill anything, period. Back then I thought I was doing my duty fighting the NVAVC.